We'll go over another example of naming an ionic compound that has a polyatomic ion in its formula. We're asked to name the compound with the formula SnCr207 in brackets too. We see that SnCr207 too has three elements, tin, chromium, and oxygen. Any ionic compound with more than two elements must contain a polyatomic ion. So we look for polyatomic ions in the formula SnCr207 too. We see that Cr207 with a negative 2 charge is called dichromate. And the metal Sn is found on the positive ion section of this table. We see that Sn is tin and it is a multivalent metal. It can have a charge of either positive 2 or positive 4. This is verified by finding tin on the periodic table. We see it has these two different possible charges. The formula tells us we have one tin ion and two Cr207 ions. The ion table tells us that the Cr207 is called dichromate. So we can start the name by writing tin dichromate. Tin is a multivalent metal with a charge of either positive 4 or positive 2. So we need a Roman numeral right after tin in the name. We don't know what Roman numeral to use at this point. We determine that by finding the charge the tin ion needs to have to balance the total negative charge on the dichromate ions. The ion table tells us that each dichromate ion has a charge of negative 2. So the total negative charge is negative 2 plus negative 2, which is negative 4. The charges must be balanced, so the total positive charge is positive 4. The total positive charge is positive 4, and there is only one tin ion. So the charge on one tin ion must be positive 4. Therefore, the Roman numeral we use is IV for 4. So the final name is tin 4 dichromate. So the final answer to the question is the name of this compound is tin 4 dichromate.